Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. We're going to start in a seated position to begin with. So make sure you feel comfortable and then coming down to a seated position. And let's start, let's start with the right leg in front of the left and rest the hands down onto the legs and let's close down the eyes. It's taking a few moments just to settle into the breath and settle into the body. Just notice where the breath is traveling to in the, at the moment. So just where you feel it the most. And then start to actively lengthen out the breathing. So slowing down the inhale Breathing out into the sides of the body, feeling the spine lengthen all the way up. As you exhale, continue to lengthen up, start to draw the navel in towards the spine, shoulders relax. And just continue to lengthen into the breathing as you inhale, sense of lengthening up through both sides of the waist. As you exhale, continue lengthening up and drawing the navel in. Just breathing in and out through the nose. Just making this space to be here with your breath, with your body and your own practice. And then let's uh, open up the eyes. Just releasing the arms down by your side, starting to take some shoulder circles. So for the first part of this sequence is focus on the upper body connecting with the breath and movement. And then we'll start to take it into some more larger full body expression. And then let's change the direction of the circle. So going back and forward, trying to make the circles as large as you can. Just noticing that little bit of heat that just starts to generate in the upper body through this very simple action. And then let's release the arms down, take the fingertips of the shoulders, bring the elbows together and circle the hands back. Try to touch the wrist behind the neck and circle them back. Forward and back. Take the breath into the upper body. Making nice large circles with the elbows. And then let's change the direction. So going back, still trying to touch the wrist behind the neck and elbows as you come forward. Not worrying if you're not touching the wrist behind the head. We're just trying to make the circles as large as we can. And then let's release the arms down by your side. Interlace the fingers in front of the belly. Take an inhale to bring the hands up towards the chest. As you exhale, press the palms, the hands away, and then draw the belly button in. So really trying to C curve through the spine. Let the chin drop in. And then as you inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Press the thumb side of the hands up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release the arms down. And then again, interlacing through the fingers. Inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, press the palms, the hands away. Draw the belly button in. Tuck the chin in. And then inhale, reach the arms up and then exhale to release. And again, interlace through the fingers, inhale, exhale, press the palms, the hands away. And then inhale, reach the arms up and then exhale, release them down. We'll do that two more times. Try to swap the interlace around as you bring the hands in. Inhale, exhale, press the th palms, the hands away and inhale, lengthen up through both sides of the waist. Exhale to release. Let's go one more time. Inhaling. Exhale, press the palms, the hands away. And then inhale, reach the arms up and let's hold it here. You can just gaze straight ahead or you might even just close down your eyes. Try to keep the thumbs part of the interlace, thumb side of the hands pressing up. If this is super tight on your shoulders, you might take those arms a little bit further forward. Keep the lower ribs drawing in. Long, easy breathing. Taking one more inhale. 
and then as you exhale, releasing those arms down and then walking your hands forward just to where you can. You can have the palms flat or maybe up on the fingertips. Keep pressing the sitting bones back as you lengthen forward through both sides of the waist. And then inhale to walk your hands back up to center. Taking that right hand away from you, palm down. Take the left arm up and over, coming into a nice big side bend here. Letting that underneath shoulder drop away from the ear. And if it's okay on your neck, turn the head to look up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing down through that left sitting bone. Turn the head to look back to centre and then keep the torso where it is. Just bring that top arm back down, letting the head relax down. And then imagine someone's pulling you up with your left hand. The head will trail behind as you come up. And then letting that left ear drop down to the left shoulder. Take that left hand up and over behind the right ear and then extend the right arm away. So I'm mirroring you here. Reach out through the fingertips. Take some little golf ball size circles out with this right hand. Just breathing into that right side of the shoulder, neck. And then let's change the direction of the circle. And let's wrap that right arm behind the back. So you're just using the weight of that top hand to just help relax the head down. Don't actively pull down. It's letting the weight Relax down, draw the tip of that right shoulder away from the ear. Just noticing if there's any space that starts to open up. Making sure that this left shoulder isn't hunched up towards the ear. And then let's release that top hand, release that back arm, give the shoulders a few circles out. And then Come back to center, take an inhale. As you exhale, twisting to the right, taking that, the back of the left hand onto the right thigh and looking over the right shoulder. Keep both sitting bones down. Thinking about the left side of the body turning towards the right. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, see if you can turn a little bit more and then inhale, come back to center. Let's swap the legs around. So taking that left leg in front now, and then once again, interlacing the fingers, take an inhale, bring the hands up towards the chest, and then exhale, press the thumb side of the hands away, draw the belly button in, and then taking an inhale, lengthen up, and then exhale to release. Swapping the interlace around whenever you remember, inhale, bring the hands up, exhale, press the palms of the hands away, and then inhale, reach the arms up and then exhale to release. And again, inhaling, exhale. Inhale and exhale. We'll just go one more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Take the arms up and let's hold it here for a couple of breaths. Trying to relax the muscles at the base of the neck, those lower ribs drawing in. Keep lifting up through both sides of the waist. Turn the thumb side of the hands up towards the ceiling. Take one more inhale and then exhale, releasing the arms down and then starting to walk your hands forward to where you can, palms flat on the fingertips. And then inhale, walking the hands back up, taking that left hand away from the hip and then right arm up and over. Just dropping that underneath shoulder away. You don't want it up by the ear. Turning the head to look up towards the ceiling if that's comfortable for you. Keep pressing down through that right sitting bone. Lengthening out through the top fingertips. Open, easy breath. And then turn the head to look back to center, keeping the body where it is. Let's bring that right arm down. Let the head relax down. Imagine someone's pulling you up so the head trails behind as you come up. 
all the way up to center and then dropping that right ear down to the right shoulder, taking that right hand up and behind the left ear. Take the left hand away, turn the palm to face foot and then take some little golf ball sized circles, actively reaching out through the fingertips. And then changing the direction of the circle. And let's wrap this uh, left arm behind the back. Just allowing the weight of that top hand to relax the head down, drawing the tip of that left shoulder away from the left ear. Just noticing if there's any little bits of space that open up, particularly on the exhale, along that left side of the neck and upper shoulder area. And then let's release that top hand, bring the head to come back up, give the shoulders a few circles out once again, releasing the arms down through centre, taking an inhale, taking a twist to your left, taking the right hand, back of the right hand onto that left thigh and looking over the left shoulder, ground down through both sitting bones, thinking about the right side of the body turning towards the left. Taking one more inhale, lengthen up and then exhale so if there's any more space and then inhale come back to center come over the knees coming into your tabletop position setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips taking the right arm up towards the ceiling inhale and then exhale soften through that left arm resting the head and the shoulder down for a moment and then coming back up again inhaling tops of feet keep pressing down exhale soften through that left arm and then inhale to reach it up. Exhale, threading it under. One more time. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, threading it under. And then come back up, inhale. Exhale to flex the right hand towards the front of the mat. Let the head relax down. The forehead might rest down. Actively flex through the right fingers. And then take an inhale, coming back up onto both hands. Going with the left arm, take the left arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, try to lift away from that bottom arm. And then exhale, soften through that right elbow as you rest the shoulder, rest the head down. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale, threading it under. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, threading it under. We'll just go one more time, inhaling and exhale. And inhale, come up, flex that left hand, thread it towards the top of the mat. Let the head relax down, really flex the left hand, left fingers up towards the ceiling. Keep the breath open. And then inhale, coming back up into your tabletop position. Let's release the belly down, lift the eyes. Inhale, as you exhale, tuck the toes under, press back into down facing dog. We'll come back down lightly onto the knees, tapping lightly, release the belly down. Inhale, lift the eyes. Exhale, down facing dog. Go one more time. Tap the knees down. Inhale, and then exhale, down facing dog. Hold it here. Bending into the right knee and try to reach that left heel down and then we'll swap it over. Bend into the left knee, right, reach the right heel down. And again, swapping it over. So opening up through the soles of the feet, opening up the backs of the calves, pressing down through the inner edges of the hands and then placing both heels down towards the mat. Take an inhale, uncurling the spine into your plank position. You can walk it a bit further back. If you feel like it's a bit short, you want to have those wrists underneath the shoulders or slightly forward. Press the mat away with the hands, taking an inhale. Exhale back into down facing dog. And coming back into your plank position. Inhale, looking slightly forward so the head's not dropping down. Exhale back, down facing dog. We'll go one more time. Inhale, plank. Exhale. Down facing dog. Looking forward towards the hands. Let's walk the feet all the way forward. Just to where you can. 
and then when you need to bend those knees coming all the way down feet flat relax the head down take an inhale into your halfway lift hands can come to the shin bones and then exhale fold bend the knees as much as you need to here and then we'll take a spine roll to come all the way up to standing so drop the hips down and spine roll all the way up sweep the arms out to the side inhale palms and hands come together exhale bring the hands down through the center line resting the hands in front of the chest closing down the eyes just for a few moments weight dropping down into the feet crown of the head reaching up and then let's open the eyes releasing the arms down by your side bringing the feet together side by side We'll take a few sun salute A's, reaching the arms down, palms facing forward, reach the arms up, inhale, palms and hands come together, look towards the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold into your Uttanasana, bend the knees as much as you need to here. Let the head relax down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, try not to let the arms hang, you can bring the hands to the shins if you need to. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and step back into your plank position. Crown reaching forward. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come down to the knees. And we're going to bend the elbows halfway down, squeeze those elbows in, and then release yourself all the way down. Release the tops of feet down. Feet parallel. Draw the hands back in line with the ribs, and then come up into your baby cobra. Squeeze those elbows in. And just for this first one, you might just take your hands off just to test that you don't have a lot of weight into your hands. So trying to build up that back strength. You can place them back down maybe just putting a little bit of weight to come up a bit higher taking an inhale and then exhale releasing it down and then go back through your tabletop position to come back into down facing dog just taking three full breaths here steady the gaze in between the feet just breathing in and out through the nose. And then on the next exhale, lift the heels up, soften through the knees, look forward towards the hands, stepping one foot forward and then the other foot forward. Take an inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side, press down through the feet, inhaling, looking up towards the thumbs, and then exhale, forward fold down through the center. Release the hands down, relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step back into your plank position. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, come down to the knees, release the tops of the feet down, bend the elbows, little pause, release all the way down, lift the kneecaps off the mat, draw those hands a bit further back, and then inhaling, you might come up into a slightly higher cobra, squeeze the elbows in, keep pressing down through the tops of the feet, take an inhale, and then exhale, go straight back through your tabletop position into down facing dog. Three breaths. softening through the knees look forward towards the hands you could step if you feel comfortable you might want to hop forward take an inhale halfway lift exhale fold take the arms out to the side inhale palms and hands come together and then exhale forward fold uttanasana relax the head inhale halfway lift exhale fold Bend the knees, stepping back into your plank position. Taking an inhale, exhale, come down to the knees, release the tops of the feet down. Bend the elbows, releasing all the way down. Draw those hands slightly back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back into your down facing dog. Just one breath here. Softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands. You can either step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side. 
Inhaling, palms and hands come together. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. A little bit of a change coming up. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knee, step the right leg back, drop down to the right knee. So we're just coming down to our low lunge, release the top of the right foot down. You can stay up on your fingertips, or maybe it's comfortable to have the palms flat. Just taking a couple of breaths here. Pressing down into that left heel. Breathing into the front of that right thigh. Just taking one more inhale here as you exhale. Starting to strain this left leg. You might need to bring your hands a little bit further back. And then we're going to bend into that front leg once again. So taking an inhale, sternum reaches foot. And then exhale to strain into that front leg. We'll move through two more times. Inhale, bend. And then exhale to straighten. One more time. Inhale to bend. And then exhale to straighten. Taking an inhale to lengthen out and then exhale, folding down just to where you can. Think about the belly relaxing down towards that left thigh, sternum reaching towards that left foot. Keep flexing the left foot. And then let's bend through that front leg. Walk your hands forward, tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee off, step back into your plank position change here with how we're coming down. We're going to come down to eight point kneeling position if possible. Otherwise you can just come down to the knees just the way we've been doing it. Taking an inhale, exhale, bring the knees down. We're going to dive the chest in between the hands and then the chin comes down. Squeeze the elbows in, release the belly down, release the toes. Take the hands back, palms facing down, tops of feet pressing down. Take an inhale to come up into your Shalabhasana. Reach the fingertips back, tips the shoulders lifting away from the mat. Keep pressing down through the tops of the feet. Take one more inhale and then bring the hands down by the rib cage. Either come up into a high cobra or if you can, come into your up facing dog. Inner feet are shut, draw the shoulders away from the ears, looking straight ahead or lift the eyes. Taking one more inhale. Lift through the belly, either through your tabletop or back over the feet into down facing dog. Taking your breath. Taking the right leg up to your three legged dog. Inhale, keep the leg parallel. So try not to open up the hip here. Exhaling, stepping that right foot forward in between the hands, coming up into your crescent moon lunge. Take the arms up alongside the ears. Bending a bit deeper in that front leg. Reach that left heel back. Just taking one more inhale here. As you exhale, take a twist to the right, palms facing the side, and then taking that right hand down onto the back of that left thigh or back of the pelvis. Try to lift that left hip up, turning the shoulders towards the right. Reach up through the left pinky finger. And then bring that right arm forward again, inhaling, exhale, bring the hands down, coming into your sprinter's lunge for a moment, taking an inhale as you exhale, start to strain this right leg just to where you can. If you need to keep it slightly bent, that's fine. Lift that left heel up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe the palms could be flat. Engage that right quadricep. And then let's bend into the front leg. Step that left foot forward. Uttanasana, relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side. Inhale, palms, hands come together. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step the left leg back, come down to the left knee, release the left toes. Taking a couple of breaths here in your low lunge. Then ground down into that right heel. Trying to relax that left thigh down towards the mat. Just taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, start to straighten this right leg towards the face, and then taking a bend once again, inhaling, and then exhale to straighten, inhale to bend, 
exhale to straighten inhale to bend exhale to straighten let's go one more time inhale to bend exhale to straighten and let's hold it here try to draw that right hip back flex the right foot towards the face and we're trying to square off the hips here lifting the belly button away from the mat And then bend into the front leg, tuck the back toes under, lifting that left knee off, step back into your plank position. Press the mat away. Once again, coming into our eight point kneeling Sastanga Namaskarasana position. Take an inhale, come down to the knees, shift the hips slightly back, dive the chest in between the hands. Squeeze the elbows in, bum is up in the air. Release the belly down, release the tops of the feet down. Bring those hands back behind you, palms are facing down. To press down through the tops of the feet to lift up, coming into your Shalabhasana. Back of the neck is long, keep breathing. Press the tops of the feet down, taking one more inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Bring the hands by the ribs, either coming up into your cobra or coming up into your up facing dog, lifting the kneecaps off, maybe the eyes lift, inhale. Exhale, lift through the belly or back through your tabletop into down facing dog. Taking your breath. Take the left leg up to your three legged dog, keeping the leg parallel. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands, coming up into your crescent moon lunge. Bending a bit deep in this front leg, keeping those lower ribs drawing in, reach up through the fingertips. It's taking an inhale and then exhale, taking a twist to the left, palms facing that side, and then taking that left hand onto the back of the right thigh or back of the pelvis, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling, right pinky finger reaching up, turning the shoulders towards the left, keep that front leg bent. Reach that left arm back up to center, inhale, and then exhale, bringing the hands down, taking another inhale, and then exhale, starting to strain into that front leg, lifting that right heel up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe the palms come flat. And then bending to the front leg, Stepping that right foot forward, Uttanasana, relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the side, inhaling. Palms and hands come together. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step the right leg back. Come down to the right knee, release the left, the right toes down. Take the arms up, inhaling into your low lunge. And then this time we're gonna take that left arm down onto that left thigh, right arm is up and over. Or if you can, you might take that left hand down onto a block or just all the way down onto the ground. Just opening up that right side body. Keep pressing down through that right knee, taking one more full breath. And then coming back to center, take another inhale and then exhale to strain into that left leg. Just one breath here, folding down to where you can. And then bending into that front leg, tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee off, stepping back into your plank position. Inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Release the belly, release the tops of the feet down. Take those arms back. If you can, feet can come a little bit closer together. Let's lift the legs and the upper body off. Reach the fingertips back. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, release the tops of the feet down. Hands by your rib cage. Coming up, cobra or up facing dog. Inhale, exhale, down facing dog. It's one breath. Taking the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, 
Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming up into your crescent moon lunge. Inhaling here. And then as you exhale, drop that right hand onto that left thigh, turning the shoulders towards the right. Reach the right arm back up, taking an inhale. As you exhale, bring the palms and hands together in front of the chest. Shift the weight into this right leg. You might bring that left foot a little bit closer towards you. And then start to lift up into your warrior three. Crown of the head reaching forward. We're not going to hold it here for too long. We're trying to gather through the belly. Rotate that outer left hip down. Taking one more full breath. And then soften through the right knee. Step that left heel back down, opening out into your warrior two position. Option to hold your arms here. If you can, right hand onto the upper back, holding onto the elbow. Bend a little bit deep in this front leg. Just turning the shoulders to the left without letting this right knee draw in. Let's release the arms back out. Strain through the front leg. Bring that left foot in just about a foot, shortening the stance slightly, taking an inhale. Exhale, right hip shift slightly back so you can come into your trikonasana. Very light with this right hand on the shin or back of the hand to the inside of the leg. Maybe turning the head to look up. Keep pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot. Ground down through the right big toe mound. Draw the energy up that right quadricep. Turn the head to look down. Take an inhale, coming back up. Exhale, cut all the hands down. Coming onto the ball of the left foot, taking an in-breath. And then exhale into your pyramid. Lift the left heel up only for a breath. Bend into the front leg, stepping that left foot forward. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side, inhale, palms and hands come together, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step the left leg back, drop down to that left knee, release the left toes. Take the arms up into your low lunge, lower ribs in, reaching out through both sides of the waist. Taking an inhale, exhale. Right forearm down, left arm up and over, or taking that right hand down, just opening up through that left side body. Keep breathing. Taking one more inhale, and then as you exhale, just coming forward over that front leg, and then straightening into the right leg, flex the foot towards the face. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, just the way you can. Just one breath. Bending to the front leg, Hands down, tuck the back toes under, lift the left knee up. Take the right leg back. Inhale, exhale, knees, chest and chin. Squeeze the elbows in, release the belly down, release the tops of feet down. Feet can come a bit closer together. Take those arms back, palms facing down. Take an inhale to lift up into your Shalabhasana. Take the arms off as well, palms facing down. Open breathing. Pressing the backs of thighs up towards the ceiling. Taking one more inhale, lift up. Exhale, feet down. Take the hands down by the rib cage. Lifting up cobra or up facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, down facing dog. Swan breath. Take the left leg up to your three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming up into your crescent moon lunge. Bending a bit deep in that front leg, inhaling. And then as you exhale, drop that left hand down onto the back of the right thigh or the back of the pelvis, turning the shoulders towards the left. And then inhale, coming back to center. Bring the palms and hands in front of the chest. Shifting the way forward into this left leg, you might bring that right foot a little bit closer in. Draw the belly button in, and then start to lift this right leg up into your Warrior three, engage that left quadricep, crown of the head reaching forward, keep breathing, press the back of the right thigh up, inhale, and then as you exhale, soften through that left knee, step that right leg back, opening out into your warrior two. 
left toes pointing forward, shoulders over the hips, and then take that left hand onto the upper back, right hand holding the elbow. So turning the shoulders to the side and pressing that left knee back behind you. Bend a bit deep in that front leg if you can. And then let's release those arms, strain through the front leg. Bring that right foot in just about a foot, shortening the stance slightly. Inhale, left hip shift slightly so you can come into your trikonasana. Turning the head to look up towards that top hand. Keep pressing down through the outside edge of the right foot. Lean the back behind you. Turn the head to look down. Come back up. Inhale. Cart all the hands down by the front foot. Come to the ball of the right foot. Inhaling here. Exhale into your pyramid just for a breath. Bend into the front leg. Step that right foot forward, relaxing the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side. Inhaling, palms and hands come together. Exhale, draw the hands down through the center line. Rest the hands in front of the chest. Let the eyes close down. Just feeling the soles of feet spread into the mat. Lengthening up through the crown of the head, letting the breath slow right down. And then let's open the eyes, releasing the arms down by your side, taking the hands to the waist and opening the feet out so they're hip distance apart. Take an inhale to lengthen up. As you exhale, folding forward, feel free to bend the knees here if you need to, interlacing the fingers with the first two fingers around the big toes. Take an inhale, lengthen forward through the crown of the head, and then exhale, elbows out to the side. So coming into your Padangustasana, try to lift the shoulders away from the ears. And if you are managing to get your legs straight, try to shift the weight slightly forward onto the balls of feet. So you're engaging through the quadriceps. So allowing the weight of the head to lengthen out the spine. Steady gaze with the eyes. Just taking an inhale into your halfway lift. Let's release the hands out, bend through the knees, plant the hands down, step back into your plank position, and then come down to the knees, release the tops of feet down, come down to the forearms, elbows and hands shoulder distance apart. Bring the knees together. This might be enough for you. If you can, we're gonna tuck the toes under and lift up into your forearm plank. And feet can be just slightly apart. Press the backs of thighs up towards the ceiling, sternum's reaching forward. Try to soften through the face, press down through the palms of hands. We've got five more full breaths. Trying to lift the front of the body away from the mat. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, come down to the knees and sit back into your child's pose. You can have the knees together if that's a comfortable, arms down by your side. Or you could separate the knees out wide and have the arms forward. So allowing the eyes to close down, heavy hips. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, coming up to a seated position, sitting over to one side. Take the legs out long in front of you. Just coming down your mat so you've got a bit of space to roll back in a moment. Straighten through those legs. Press down through the backs of thighs, taking an inhale to lengthen up, and then exhale, coming forward as to where you can. 
holding outside of the legs if you can outside edges of the feet belly drawing down towards the thighs sternum reaching forward Taking three more full breaths. Just noticing if there's any space, particularly on that exhale, to draw yourself a bit further down. Crown of the head reaching forward. Muscles at the base of the neck relaxed. Taking one more full inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale, coming back up. Just taking those arms up to shoulder height and then drawing the belly button in to roll all the way down onto your back, all the way down, all the way down. And then let's bend the knees up. We're just gonna take a twist before we finish up, We're crossing that right leg over the left. Lift the hips up slightly over towards the right. If you've got space, you might wrap the right foot behind the left calf. And then dropping the knees over towards the left, extend that right arm out to the side, turning the head to look over the right shoulder. If it's comfortable, just letting the eyes close down. allowing the legs to be heavy, allowing that right shoulder blade to be heavy. And then inhale, coming back up through center, uncross the legs, bring the hips back towards the middle, Taking the left leg over the right, hips slightly towards the left. Option to wrap the left foot behind the right calf, dropping the knees over to the right, extending that left arm out to the side, still allowing that left shoulder blade to be heavy now. And I'm just using this right hand on the top of the left thigh just to help weight it down. Notice if there's anywhere that you can let go on the exhale. And then inhale, bringing the legs back up through center. Release the legs out and then hips back towards the middle. And just to finish off, let's bring the knees in towards the chest, hugging the knees in, holding the forearms, the wrists, or if you can, the elbows. I'm going to squeeze the knees in, press the back of the pelvis down, shoulder heads relax back down towards the mat, taking one more full breath. And then releasing the legs all the way along. It's coming into your Shavasana. Just make sure you feel warm enough. Make any little adjustments that you need to make yourself feel comfortable. Palms are facing up, arms a little bit away from the body, feet falling away from one another. Just allowing the eyes to close completely. Face softens, shoulders relax and belly relaxes too. Whole body, letting go. Just allowing yourself to come to complete rest.
Well, please feel free to stay here for as long as you need to. If you're ready to come back up to a seated position, start to deepen into your breathing. Just bringing a little bit of movement into the fingers and toes. And bending the knees up. Just rolling over to the right hand side. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths, maybe using the right arm to support the head if you need to. Starting to make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Just using that left hand to support you as you come up. Just keeping the eyes closed just for another few moments, coming to a comfortable cross-legged position. Just feeling the sitting bones resting down to the mat. Long through both sides of the waist. Soft through the face and soft through the shoulders. Just noticing the space that you've created. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time. Namaste.